Welcome to this introduction to Open Data Exchange. In the first part, we're going to introduce the concepts and the vision for open data. In the second part, we will provide actual hands-on view of the technology in action. So our obligatory disclaimer notice here and safe harbor statement. And now we move into the Open Data Digital Strategy Vision. So Steve Van Roekel, who's the federal CIO, has described open data as the new default, anywhere, anytime, on any device, and everything should be APIs. So what exactly does that mean? So internet-based secure information delivery of both public and private information an API is an application programming interface. It's a technical term for computer to computer exchanges. And open data itself is standards based information formats, such as the NIEM Exchange XML based format that is commonly used uh, in government. The Oracle Open Data Solution, OpenXDX, is an all new component designed to deliver rapid open data APIs. It integrates into Fusion, Middleware, Foundation, and SQL database products, and it uses XML configuration templates and codeless methods and open source NIEM tools. So it allows plug and play delivery for customers and applications. The conceptual overview is standard uh, information delivery, where you design, test, deploy, and then do your actual delivery of your information. So in the de design phase, you're using a visual editor, a SQL browser, dictionaries, and drag and drop metaphor to engineer what you need uh, in terms of the actual open data exchange. You can then test that utilizing the OpenXDX component the CAMV validation engine, and actually send your data uh, via uh, web services. Then you can actually deploy in your existing middleware solution stack, such as uh, Oracle Fusion middleware, um, and the integrate into business processes as well. And your endpoint data delivery can then occur across devices, PCs, browsers, servers as you need. So how exactly does this work? The conceptual view of OpenXDX itself is that you have SQL databases, you have a JDBC Java database connection to the OpenXDX component. It can then retrieve the information from your databases, create the XML, and send it. And this is all controlled with a template that knows about the structure, the rules, the database mappings, and the parameters involved. So you can see this is a very visual process uh, where you can use drag and drop between an existing XML structure, such as a NIEM message format, and your actual SQL database. The individual mappings are stored in the template, and then the engine is able to interpret that to actually perform the, the generation of the XML you need. In the second mode, you start off with an empty XML, such as a patient report that you wish to build, and you use the drag and drop now in designer mode, where it will actually build the XML for you based on the definitions that you have in your SQL database tables. So that's what you can see here uh, occurring, where you've dragged and dropped the whole table the XML is generated, the, uh, those definitions conform to the NIEM naming design rules, and there's a smart wizard that helps you uh, do that for you. And then again, the definitions and the mappings are all stored into the template. Now we can see this all working together, where we have our existing uh, database tables, and we're viewing that through MySQL Workbench. We open up the designer. We build the actual exchange that we need. Then we're able to generate and run and test that interactively. 
So this concludes the overview part and now the second part here is going to actually show you this working as a demonstration. Thank you. Here today we're going to show you creating an OpenXDX exchange. So first of all we need to create a new template and today we're going to pull some patient details from existing data store. So we've created the uh, basic template and we're going to store that and as you can see we now have uh, an empty XML structure. So the next step is going over here and you can see we're connected to the existing database that we have for the patient and the prescription information that has been written. And we're here reusing the tool in designer mode. So what we're going to do is drag and drop the prescription master table into the XML structure. And you can see what's happened is it's filled in the XML components, it's filled in the rules about the content, and it's also created XML compatible names from the SQL uh, components. So if we have a look here you can see the original SQL names and how they've mapped over using the NEM naming and design rules uh, for how uh, mixed case names uh, are generated. Next we want to add in the patient information so we can drag and drop that over onto the master and once again the fields have been filled in and in this case we have a repeatable rule here uh, for the patient information. We want to just delete that because of course in our data model the prescription only has one patient. Then back here we'll complete the information with the actual drugs that the patient has been prescribed. Again just drop that in at the master level. This time we do want that repeatable because there could be more than one drug. All those fields have been filled in. So now we can save the template and then come to the open data option and actually generate the open data. Connect to the database. Put in our password. Click OK. It runs. We can examine the console log and we can see that it has retrieved three data records which is all the data in our sample database. Uh, it has automatically deduced the keys uh, and the relationships uh, using the indexes and the foreign key that are defined. And then if we click to our folder we can actually open this with the text editor and here is the information that we just created with the three records, the information about the patient, the drugs they're taking and the prescription that's been written, the date and time and so on that it was uh, issued and filled. That concludes our quick demo. Welcome to part two of our demonstration. Here we're going to show you running the OpenXDX component from inside WebLogic and the JDeveloper environment. So here we connect to the test system and run the OpenXDX service. So this is a web service and this shows you responding to a request, gener generating the desired output and sending that to the requester. 
and here you can see the exact same data that we generated in the interactive mode now running as a web service and you can see in the JDeveloper console log here the same messages as we were seeing before with the records being output and above you can see the Java code itself with the five simple steps that are needed to actually execute this.